presents your dinner. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Round Table, your Disney dining show featuring all sorts of restaurants around Walt Disney World property and Disney Springs. So, um, this episode, we're going to be covering paddlefish. So, oh, yeah. Um, all of that and more coming up next. everybody again we are reviewing paddlefish but for now my name is colin i'll be your host joining me every episode my co-host brendan hey how are you doing very very good looking forward to talking about paddlefish again because my mouth is already kind of watery yeah just thinking um, about this i had a great experience here already i'm gonna go ahead and say that my experience was yeah. wonderful um but to start it off what was your first experience when you arrived yeah. at paddlefish uh, it's an epic building yeah so it's a pretty much a big boat and then it has you know the big the wheel paddle in the back um it's really cool to look at and see the especially at night when we showed up it was dinner time the lights they have like kind and of like string lights, lights top, you yeah. know around the top and you kind of walk across like a little plank i guess you could say and then you walk into the restaurant and they have the the hostess right there and there's a nice little way it's a very elegant luxurious feel yeah and right. it was very nice we didn't wait too long i think we waited a total of about 15 minutes uh, and that. i think we probably were early because i mean you are always early and we're always very hungry so we're trying to eat <laughs> yeah i think so, we were already in disney springs so we headed there quite early so yeah. i think we waited around that 10 to 15 minute mark yeah um but they were they were pumping guests in and out yet not rushing people yeah so it definitely it had a nice. good atmosphere i like yeah. the bar we walked just into the bar area just to see how it was very elegant, a nice long bar, probably seated 25 right. people Absolutely. just in that bottom uh, part. And the, I just really like the whole atmosphere inside of it. Made me feel like, you know, I was on a boat. <laughs> it was, it, it, the feel was incredible. But um, uh, nonetheless, moving forward, I, I it, walking in, it felt great. Once we got to yeah. our seat. How so, did you feel? We were in a good spot, I'd say. Um, kind of a corner, so but... So, we did have to... I think we walked up just one flight of stairs. So, yep. we were on the second deck, and then we were on... Uh, if you walk up the stairs, just kind of to the left. Um, and we were... The windows were all to our left, and it was pretty much a panoramic view of the... Yeah, it was all panoramic. The, yeah. the lake, and we were in a booth. So, we were probably 20, 30 feet away from the... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we weren't we close were little, to the Just wall, a little ways. Feet, right? Yeah, a little ways from the windows, but you could still get a very nice view. The booth was very comfortable, and I'm surprised they sat us there because it was just us two. There was you plenty should, of space. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised they sat us there just because it was us two. Yeah. But table to chest happy. and the booth length, uh, the width, the it chair, been for a table of the five cushion. Six, it was but... great, and um, we were very very comfortable. So. Yeah. Um, that being said, once we sat down, we got seated right away. We ordered some beverages. Um, nothing special to speak of, you know, to be exact. Um, no, no specialty cocktails on yeah. this, this meal. Um, but we did order some starters, quite a, you know, a couple. So yeah. to start that off, what did you order as a starter? So we ordered, or I ordered the lobster corn dog. Uh, and this is pretty much a big piece of lobster mm. on the, you know, skewer. a skewer, a wooden skewer. And, you know, it's six to six inches long about, and it's breaded lobster pieces or a ta and, uh, and moderately uh, breaded too it yeah. wasn't like a corn dog at all like i expected it yeah to be. it was a it was mostly just meat. wasn't really sure how it was going to come but it came out really good um it came with a little sweet chili aioli and it that was, was really good to dip in um it came with about six to eight pieces and it was a lot it was an incredible serving for it was 16 dollars. Mm -hmm. i do want to mention that but it you could definitely share this between two, you two to four people. If you are hungry, you know you could you could even get this for a dinner. I, I think it was something that the flavor wise, texture wise, the way it was prepared yeah. was incredible. 
um, that aioli, as Brendan mentioned, was yeah. the icing on the cake. It was extremely flavorful mm -hmm. and went perfect with that seafood. So um, that's something we shared, and that we got started that the night off perfectly. So we got that first, and then we sat down, and then they brought up the bread. They were a little slow with the bread. Mm -hmm. I will mention that they were a little slow, but it came out with it was a brioche loaf right. with like a honey butter, and the butter made right. the bread. And it, was it was amazing. The bread was okay. It wasn't but the warm. Butter. I was I wanted the bread to be a little bit more warm mm -hmm. because it would melt the butter, but it wasn't. But right. the butter was there. And, you know, the bread was it was still a very high quality. It just wasn't warm like I would want it for a place like that. Right. But uh. It was amazing, but I will go into the thing that I did order for my appetizer on top of the the lobster corn dog, and I got the lobster bisque. Um, the lobster bisque was very good, um, had a very good lobster taste. It wasn't too overpowering if you were like maybe a first time lobster, or like eating lobster for the first time. It was just very good, and it just warmed my heart. Like it was just it like was... it was just like very good. It didn't like overpower. It wasn't. I wouldn't say the best lobster bisque I've ever had. In, it was blended into the yeah, soup. Yeah, it was kind of like a... They literally probably got like a, some type of blender and blended up because I didn't see it was, any it was lobster a, It was rice. emulsified. They, they yeah. probably used an emulsion blender. And, they, you know, there was very fine pieces. It was cream. But was the flavor just, was there and they said creamy. that it was definitely... A it was good. It was, it was good. It wasn't the best, but, you know... I got six dollars for a cup, so it wasn't bad. And I th honestly, I it, it, was, it, I thought it, it was it was good. It was, good. It, was, it was it was pretty dang. I good. mean, I've had. I honestly, I can't say what the best I've had is. It's very rare that I even order lobster bisque, but it was it was incredible. I can't say anything wrong about it. Yeah. Um, but what I ordered actually was the uh, New England clam chowder. Yeah. So this was very very good. So this actually had a lot of pieces of. Clam. Yeah, I was wondering why mine, my lobster bisque didn't have any, and his had actual clams in his, but I tried a couple of his, and I saw the clams, and I'm not a big clam chowder person or a clam person in right, general, right. and I loved it. Um, it, was it, very, it was very, very good. It wasn't that um, very fishy, you know, seafood smell. Um, it was a very clean, crisp, you know, clam chowder. Um, incredible flavor, texture. Um Something I really enjoyed. I could have probably had three or four of those cups. I'm not even kidding. Oh, so same. Um, yeah, I could have. So they have a cup size and a bowl size. The cup is $6 for these two, mm -hmm. and then you can get a bowl for $9. I don't know how much bigger the bowl is, but the cup was, you know, just... It was probably four to five ounces. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good I mean, size. Half a cup to three quarters. Especially with the bread and, and the lobster. Um, right. Corn dogs on top. It was a good. It was. It was enough. We were, I think, already full by the end of this, but we wanted to keep on eating. Uh, I don't get full. I don't <laughs> Yeah. So uh, we had to get our entrees. Right, what right. type of entree did you get? I um, had something that I actually, honestly, I I I veer toward this at a lot of seafood specific restaurants, and this was the swordfish. So, I always enjoy my swordfish. I, I think it's fantastic. It's flavorful. It's flaky. I, I'm a big fan. So specifically, this one came with wasabi whipped potatoes, which again, not everybody likes wasabi. That's a flavor that's near and dear to my heart. Yeah. And then it was loaded with shiitakes and um, snow pea stir fry. Yeah. So this was an incredible meal. Um, one of my favorite seafood dishes I've had in a long time. Um, I compare it to a restaurant I've had here in Atlanta a few times, but uh, it ranks very high on my list. I, and they give you a, a big, por I would say six to eight ounces of a uh, Pro Probably fish. six I, ounces. It was definitely way. a big portion. I was glad to see that, that you know, you're getting charged the amount right. you were, but they were giving you a nice size portion behind that. Right, and it was $30 for this meal. And for probably about a six ounce, you know, cooked weight, which would probably be about eight, eight ounces raw. Yeah. Um, with this potato and, and, and the, you know, the actual presence of the meal, yeah. you know, it, cosmetically, it was a beautiful dish. They put it together. And, per, the, yeah. You know, the display of this dish was Structurally, amazing. it was fantastic. So all in all, I, I had a fantastic entree. So what about you, Brennan? Yep. Yeah, so I got the crab cake BLT, which I, for Ooh. some reason, I get crab cakes when I go to fish places. I, sometimes I'll get a sort of fish like Colin does. He was getting that, and you know I don't like getting 
I will say, this caught, your, this caught your eye right away. I will, yeah, I'm this caught my eye. I, maybe I was in the mood for a sandwich that night, but I was like, I, I was eyeing it. Brandon, we sat down. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell you. I think we sat down we like sat a couple down. weeks before. No, no, we sat down like that night, and you picked it up, and you were like, man, there's a crab cake BLT. And I was like, holy cow, how did you already read that? And you were like, that sounds good. <laughs> And yeah. uh, I think you're right, though. I think three weeks before, we looked at the stationary menu outside yeah. in black, and you pointed it out to yourself. But it, uh, when like, you saw that menu, you It was were in going, my mind. I was like, I'm getting this. I, <laughs> I was looking at other things. There was a couple other things you're that done. caught my eye, but I was like, you know, crab cake, because you can tell the quality of a restaurant with a crab cake. Because the amount of crab they put in it and the breading, you know, if there's a good ratio, then you know it's a good quality or they're ripping you off. Yeah. And I will say the quality of this crab cake was excellent. And the, and the quality yeah. of the crab. Everything yeah. at Paddlefish seafood wise was very yes. high end seafood, freshly caught, very, I mean, you're in Florida, first of all, so there you have quick yeah, access. Yeah, they better, they better it's have all fresh food, daily. Yeah. So it was amazing. The crab cake was, you know, the size of a hockey puck, maybe a little mm. bit bigger, and there wasn't too much breading. They had a good mixture of like um, green onion. They had crab. They had some uh, some type of panko type thing to it, right. and it was really good. They had enough crab where I actually tasted it, and bacon I was like, avocado. Yeah, and I tasted that, and then you get a little bit of the crispy bacon on top of that, and then you get avocado. The creaminess of the avocado, just to top it off, and then you wow. get the creaminess of the ramala too. And I'm not a big fan. They actually put a tomato on here too. I took it off. I'm just. It just makes the sandwich too it's messy a, for it's me. It's a BLT, bro. Yeah, yeah, it is a BLT, but I'm tomatoes was like. Uh, it just makes Man, my. Man, and you're Italian. Yeah. Turn away a tomato. Yeah. Well. I just don't like a th it's a steak tomato. Yeah, it was. So it it's was a thick, thick tomato. Yeah. When I have a tomato on a sandwich, I like it very thin because I, I don't agree. love. The, I like the taste, but I don't love the taste of tomato. Yeah. So that's why I took it off, and I didn't want it to ruin my whole meal. Yeah. But everything, the cheddar, the avocado, avocado was so creamy, it was fresh. You could tell, you know. Absolutely. And. I liked how the bacon was super crispy. They gave two big pieces of bacon. I broke them and actually stacked them thick. forward. They were nice and thick. And then, you know, the ciabatta mm -hmm. was soft, warm, and crispy. It was just like you bite it, you bite it in it, crispy, uh -huh. and then you get the so I love a ciabatta roll. And that's why I think everything just was mixing that night. And I was just like, all right, I'm getting the cra that crap. It's hard to beat a ciabatta. ciabatta. And the, everything else the, you said? Yeah, wow. ciabatta wow. is honestly my favorite type of bread for a sandwich, and I had to do it, and it was amazing on top of that. Everything just, like, really, came together. Really yeah, place. it just came together, and the crab cake did fall apart too much. I know some people do have that problem where, you know, there's not enough binding in well, that crab cake, but properly. they they breaded it perfect. It didn't, like, fall out and, like, squeeze out the size, so it was good. just perfect. Good, good, good. Yeah. Well, I know uh, I had a fantastic experience. I know you guys have now heard Brendan has had a pretty <laughs> yeah. good experience. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and ask, you know, I know I'm head over heels for this place. I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard great yeah, reviews. What, what would you rank this view at? Or, so, sorry, this review, sorry, this restaurant at 10. I, so I did get a crack cake, probably not the most, like, you know, type that type thing that you would get the luxurious for, yeah, the thing. luxurious. But it was out of the box and it was good. It was a, out of the box. They did a good job. They created it well. They had a good design. I'll give it a nine overall. The one thing that I, written, huh? yeah, I know we did wait just a little bit long just to get our, our bread and just like our drinks in the beginning. So that's why I kind of moved down just a half point, you know, it was, the surface was great, but it was just like, one or two things were just they were not really busy though. But yeah, they were very busy. But the food was great. The experience was great. I couldn't really have a complaint. I'll give it a nine overall for what I was expecting going in, going into a seafood restaurant. Nine out of ten. You know, it's funny that you you said that because I I'm gonna give it a nine myself as well. And going into it, I thought I was gonna give it between a seven and eight. And that, to that's me, a, that's still a solid solid rating. You know, you look on Yelp and it's out of five stars. A nine, that's a four and a half. You know, an eight, that's, that's a seven. That's what I would get a four and a half. A seven, that's a three and a half. It's really not that bad. A seven, 
Um, but uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my meal, start to finish. Like Brennan said, there was some delay from the get-go, but once we got our bread, we got our soups, we got our you know lobster appetizer. Incredible, by the way. Spe and our, oh, and I will mention that the waiter was knew everything on the menu. I forgot to mention that he literally. He was I, very well versed. For you, yeah. I, I kind of already had my eye on things, but you were, I think, between the Chipino and a couple different things, and you ended up with a I'm always and between he, the Chipino. <laughs> and he guided you towards this and said this was great. Right, so. right. And I love a Chipino. You know, we've done it on uh, past reviews. I, you know, at Melrose's, mm -hmm. I had the Chipino, and, and it was okay there, but I enjoyed it. Um, but I'm really happy with what I had at this restaurant. The swordfish yes. was incredible. The atmosphere, uh, bar none incredible on this Yes. literal boat kind of thing sitting there in Disney Springs the view the ambiance the service oh, the yeah. food we give it a nine so four and five out of five um, however you want to look at it a plus yeah great go check it out no matter what other people say um, I definitely give it a good rating it still has I great ratings for most people but some people will dog it here and there but I thought it was incredible there's just yeah there's people that straight up the beaten path but haters yeah the haters um but hater go check it out um that's all i have and you know i'll do it yeah that's it for this episode yeah. of the round table guys thank you so much for following along again please check out paddlefish inside disney springs in orlando florida thank you guys so much for following along check us out on instagram at keeping up the castle and on patreon at keeping up the castle the support helps so much thank you again take care